Hey guys, how you doing? It's me, Mr. 4 k Upscaler. So, lately uh, I've been getting a bunch of messages and uh, from various different outlets like Facebook, Messenger, Instagram, Twitter, etc., etc. Uh, everyone is asking me the, the same question uh, as to Mr. 4 k Why do you think that you won't be able to purchase a PlayStation 5 till April, April 15th, or by the end of April. Well, I'm going to try to explain that on this video and why that is. Uh, so I figured what better way for me to answer that question than like this through this video. All right. So first, let me tell you a little backstory about my hunt for PlayStation 5. Uh, I did try back in September. Uh, I've been patiently waiting for the announcements of when the pre-order will go live. Uh, and I've been patiently waiting and waiting. And uh, I did try to secure PlayStation 5 in September when they announced the pre-orders. But the problem is I didn't know that this whole scalpler bots, scripted bots from scalplers will be one big major issue. And, well, lo and behold, in September, I tried through Amazon, I tried through Walmart, I tried through Best Buy, uh, I even tried Target. Nothing happened. So, ever since September, I've been trying and trying and trying. I even made videos about it. Uh, you guys can look it up, check it out. You'll see a bunch of videos of me trying to uh, secure PlayStation 5 since September. Okay. And just no luck. It was just impossible for me to be able to secure a PlayStation 5. That's because I was not prepared for... I don't think anybody was prepared for this whole uh, scalpler fiasco pandemic. Uh, not only are we dealing with this current real pandemic, COVID-19, but at the same time we're dealing with another pandemic, if you will, for the lack of a better term, called scalplers. And these scalplers, obviously, it's one big problem, one big huge blow to this to this whole uh, PlayStation 5 launch and Xbox Series X launch. You know, people who truly want that console, uh, it's becoming very impossible to get. Uh, the scalpelers have made it almost impossible. Well, not almost. It, it is impossible. They made it impossible for, for you to secure a console unless you happen to be really, really, really lucky. And now, granted, uh, there's some people out there who are lucky. Uh, my friend Cameron D, he got very lucky. He was able to purchase uh, and secure Xbox Series X and was able to walk into an EB store and secure PlayStation 5 digital and PlayStation 5 disc. Uh, one for him, one for his brother, and he also got the Xbox Series X. My friend Mamba, those are all my moderators. My friend Mamba, who's also my moderator, along with the camera in deep, was able to secure Xbox Series X. Uh, so, you know, there were the lucky ones, you know, out there who were able to be at that right moment, to be at that right second, to secure the console. But for me, unfortunately, it was just simply uh, no luck. And uh, believe me, when I tell you, I tried. <laughs> I have videos to, to prove that, uh, to back that up, that I did try, but it was just simply impossible. Here's another thing. People say you haven't tried too hard. Well, here's the thing. Uh, I do this by myself, and, uh, you know, I run this channel by myself. Everything you see here, 5,400-plus videos, this is all done by myself. I don't have a group of people working for me. Uh, I don't have interns running around doing errands for me and all that. 
I don't have employees you know, working for me. So it's very difficult for me to, to be sitting in front of a screen. Well, not difficult. It's almost impossible for me to sit in front of a computer screen and hit the F5 refresh button and wait and, and keep looking for when the restock is of PlayStation 5, when it's coming back, uh, and then try to hurry up, try to secure one. I just don't have that uh, time for that wild goose chase. Unfortunately, some people, they have connections. They have other people out there helping them out. They have uh, friends who knows the other friends who have connections, etc., etc., etc. Now, if you happen to be one of those, well, that's good. That's great for you. Uh, that's awesome. But me, unfortunately, I don't have those types of connections. Uh, nor do I know uh, people out there who will actually do that for me. Okay, so you have to keep that in mind. Now, the reason I'm making this video is to explain myself as to why I cannot get PlayStation 5 till April. And people are going to say, well, don't you think, Mr. 4K, that's a bit uh, maybe over the top, exaggerated? Well, I don't think so. I don't think it's exaggerated over the top. If you look at this whole situation that happened with this next generation consoles, no one really uh, could have foreseen how badly this was going to turn out to be. And it is as bad as it gets, pretty much, for us. Not for the company, not for the corporate, not for the retailers. They're making money. But for us, for us gamers, obviously, this is a bad news. It's not a good news. And I'm trying to look at this from a realistic point of view. Uh, I'm not trying to look at it from some kind of like uh, false optimism point of view. Uh, I don't count on luck. I don't. Uh, I don't bet my money on luck, on pure luck. Uh, you should never ever. Uh, be reliable, don't ever be reliable on just luck. Luck, it's something that, it's gambling, it's rolling the dice, uh, and I don't put too much effort into relying on that, okay? So what I try to do, I try to look at it from a uh, realistic point of view, that could I get lucky? by the end of Christmas, uh, by the end of this year? Could I get lucky beginning of January? Uh, could I get lucky beginning of February? Could I get lucky beginning of March? That's, that's hypothetical. I don't deal with the hypothetical. I only deal with a sure thing. Hypothetical, uh, I don't enjoy hypothetical. I don't rely on hy hypothetical unless I want to amuse myself and laugh about it, maybe. But uh, I don't rely on hypothetical, and nor do I like to entertain myself, honestly, with hypothetical. Uh, if this, if that, what if uh, the armada of aliens show up above the sky, you know, etc., etc. I like to deal with realistic point of views. All right. I would love to have that PlayStation 5 for you guys, and I know you guys want me to do a bunch of tests. You want to see what I can do in terms of uh, picture quality on your OLED, on your QLED, on your Sony televisions. Uh, what type of settings do I recommend? How well does it run with uh, C10 versus E8? And how much does the HDMI Ultra High Speed 2.1 cable really helps with that HDMI 2.1 chipset. I would love to do all of these things for you. I would love to go into depth to to truly test PlayStation 5 uh, and look at all the accolades from that console and then do the live streams and, and do even more in-depth comparisons and tests. I would love to do all of that for you guys. But unfortunately... Uh, it's not going to happen till April. And people ask me, well, why do I say April? 
What's so special about April? Well, first of all, April, April 15th, it's a deadline for, uh, for you to do your taxes, obviously. And, you know, if you do your taxes early, you do get your tax return money. And uh, I felt, well, wouldn't it be nice if I, <laughs> if I use my tax return money to purchase a PlayStation 5? Okay, wouldn't that be nice? To me, I don't know, it's just kind of like, uh, it makes me feel good, you know. It feels, it feels, I feel comfortable. I feel comfortable with that. <laughs> Having the IRS uh, pay for my PlayStation 5, right? It makes me feel good. Um, that's what I mean by tax return money. So... Of course, you owe money to them. They take it, and then they give you a return. Whatever return, even if it's a five, even if it's a four hundred fifty, doesn't matter. Uh, I can still use that four hundred fifty, put it towards uh, PlayStation Five, right? And whatever money I have left, I can use it on other things like video games, accessories, extra controller, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, so that's the one uh, reason that I looked at the April. But the main reason, the main reason that I say April, it's because currently right now there's so many people, thousands of people who didn't get a chance to secure PlayStation 5, meaning they don't have a PlayStation 5 sitting in their home, in their living rooms, okay? They don't have it. And I look at majority. I don't look at minority. You know, for those of you who do have it, uh, that's awesome. That's great. But you are in minority. I'm talking about majority. And why is it that majority doesn't have a PlayStation 5? Well, unless you've been living under a rock or, I don't know, inside a cave somewhere underground. Uh, scalpelers have really made it difficult for everyday Joe... Everyday Mary, Everyday uh, uh, Trayvon, or Tanisha, or uh, Gonzalez, or Jose, or Pedro, or whatever, or Ivan, or, you know, you, may, you, you name it. Everyday Joe Schmo, Everyday John Doe, Everyday Mary, okay? They made it super impossible for them to secure PlayStation 5. And the only thing they have left, it's obviously going to eBay and buying it there, which is out of the question. Uh, okay, just totally out of the question. So, there is still huge demand and um, overwhelming huge demand in North America, Europe, Canada, Australia, other countries, okay, that it's a juggernaut of a demand for this console. And this demand will probably go through next few months because we're still in this pandemic situation and we're still battling these scalpeler bots and nothing's being done about them. You know, uh, retailers don't care. Uh, Sony obviously doesn't care either. So this is going to make it very difficult not just for me, but for everybody out there to be able to secure PlayStation 5 till like April. I say April because April, by the time we get to the uh, April 15th or by the end of April, I'm pretty sure by the end of that time, uh, more and more people will have a console and uh, scalpler scalpelers will give up obviously because they don't want to buy all that stock they need to sell and if they can't sell that stock you know in the next few months then uh, that's not good for them then they're going to stop and then they're most likely going to return those consoles i don't know uh, or they're going to sell it for the 500 dollars. okay so what does this mean this means that uh by the end of april the demand, this huge demand is going to tone down, okay? This 
juggernaut of demand is going to calm down. It's going to come down and uh, you're not going to have that many of people you know, looking for it. You're still going to have some people here and there, obviously, but it's not going to be this overwhelmingly huge demand of thousands of people looking for it. That means that you'll have pretty good chance walking into a store and, and getting one and getting the PlayStation 5. All right. So that's why I say April. All right. Because I've been getting so many questions. People have been asking me, you know, about this and why do I say April? You know, don't you think that's maybe exaggerating? I don't think so. It's not exaggerating. It's actually a very realistic point of view if you look at the current situation. And if you look at the trajectory of where this is going, uh, April seems pretty reasonable and pretty uh, realistic. You have to consider the fact that this is a different time. We're living in a very unprecedented different times. If this was uh, 1998 or if this was 2000 or if this was 2006, obviously, uh, I probably would tell you, by Christmas, I'll probably get one, right? But you got to remember, uh, you cannot walk into a store and purchase one. And everything, it's online due to this COVID-19 situation. So this COVID-19 situation puts a lot of pressure onto this whole uh, fiasco we got going on with these scumbag scalpers, you know. And there are scumbags. They openly don't care about us. They publicly said that they don't care. It is what it is. It's from their, this is from their mouth, from their mouth that came out and they said, uh, effing your feelings and uh, we have no regrets. They pretty much said it, that they have no regrets selling you the console for $2,000. Like they said it, like openly, publicly. They made that statement publicly saying that they don't care. So... They are scumbags. That's bottom line. And you shouldn't purchase from them ever anything. <clears throat> so in these unprecedented times, in these very difficult times, I'm being very realistic when I say April. You know. Now, again, I don't have a crystal ball. Okay, I'm not a prophet. I didn't go to the future. Uh, I can't tell you what's going to happen next week or next month or whatever. I don't know. I don't have a crystal ball. Anything could happen. However, is it possible I might get lucky? Well, you know, <laughs> again, that's hypothetical. Uh, again, unless I want to amuse myself and entertain myself, then I'll deal with the hypothetical. But usually when it comes to this, I don't want to uh, think about hypothetical what if, what if, what if, what if. I like to deal with realistic uh, trajectory where it's really plausible to realistically look at this whole situation and say, hey man, Mr. 4K, realistically, you'll have plausible, realistic chances of walking into a store this April, like a Best Buy, and then picking up a console, PlayStation 5, uh, PlayStation 5 Disc Edition, uh, with a 4K Blu-ray Disc Edition, that you're going to have that plausible, realistic opportunity to walk inside a store and purchase a PlayStation 5. And so will you have this, you will have this realistic, uh, plausible expectation where you're going to be able to walk into a Best Buy, Target, Walmart, okay, and buy the PlayStation 5. That's a plausible, realistic point of view. And that's the reason why I'm making this video, to explain to you why I say April. Some people think I'm joking. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm being hardcore, super, super, super serious as a heart attack that the April <laughs> it's uh, the most plausible realistic 
uh, window of opportunity for me to secure PlayStation 5. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I, I hope this really answers that question. Why some of you don't believe that, that maybe April it's uh, far-fetched. Believe me, it's not far-fetched. I calculated this whole thing. I looked at the whole situation, and uh, I look at the overwhelming the demand. I, I, I look at all of it. I analyze everything, and uh, it's the most plausible <laughs> uh, window of opportunity for me to uh, be able to purchase a PlayStation 5. Like I said, again, I don't have connections. It's not like I know somebody at the GameStop. Uh, and uh, let's say, for example, I, let's say hypothetically, if I knew, even though I hate dealing with hypothetical, let's say I knew a district manager and the district manager of the GameStop was able to call another manager at the store and tell them, I want you to hold that PlayStation 5 for this gentleman, da 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 He'll be there, he'll pick it up, he'll pay for it, blah, 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 blah. I don't have those types of connections. So that's out of the question. All right. But anyway, there's still plenty of stuff to do. Uh, honestly, I have a bunch of games to play. I have Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk will keep me busy with a single-player experience, open-world experience, uh, side missions experience, multiplayer experience, DLC experience. There's tons of games to play. Uh, so it will keep me busy till April. Uh, you know, it's not like there ain't nothing to play. It's not like there isn't anything coming out. Uh, there's also Hitman 3 coming out. So there's plenty of stuff out there. And I still have Deadly Premonition 2 to finish. So <laughs> it's not like there isn't anything for me to, to play. But unfortunately, it's going to be April. You know, that's just my realistic point of view. All right, well, I hope this video answers the, the question that you guys been asking me about on the uh, Facebook Messenger and Instagram. A lot of people uh, uh, really find me on the Facebook and, and Messenger and uh, Instagram, mainly Instagram. It's, I, I didn't realize that, that people really search for me on Instagram. <clears throat> That's interesting. And the Twitter, now people are starting to contact me through Twitter as well. That's cool. That's great. You know, any which way you can contact me, that's fine. All right. So guys, I hope this answer the question. Why April? I think I explained it to the best of my knowledge. <laughs> and I'll see you guys tomorrow. You all be good. Take care. It's December 1st. It's a brand new month. We got, what, 31 days left till the end of this uh, year into a uh, new year 2021 let's hope and pray that uh, 21 it's a more peaceful and more reasonable year and uh, you know godspeed to us all godspeed take care and uh, i'll see you soon